Coming to the first problem, which of the following pairs of linear equations has unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions? In case there is a unique solution, find it by using cross multiplication method. In this problem, we are given two bits each consisting of a set of linear equations. So, Before finding out the solutions for this problem, let us see some of the conditions. So, a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, b two linear equations. not equal to b1 by b2, we say that the given pair of linear equations have unique solution. So, this is the condition for unique solution and when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 which is not equal to c1 by c2, we say that the given set of linear equations have no solution and when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, we say that the given set of linear equations have infinitely many solutions. Coming to the first bit, which is x minus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0, 3x minus 9y minus 2 is equal to 0. Let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. So, a1 is equal to 1, a2 is equal to 3, b1 is equal to minus 3, b2 is equal to minus 9, c1 is minus 3, c2 is equal to minus 2. So, a1 by a2 is equal to 1 divided by 3, comma, b1 by b2 is equal to minus 3 divided by minus 9, that is equal to 1 by 3, c1 divided by c2 is equal to minus 3 divided by minus 2, which is 3 by 2. So, if we observe a1 by a2, is equal to b1 by b2 which is not equal to c1 by c2. So, if we observe from these three conditions, the third condition says that if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2, the given set of linear equations have no solution. That is, according to the given conditions, we can say that the given set of linear equations have no solution. Now, let us see the second bit which is 2x plus y is equal to 5. Name this as equation number 1 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 8. This is equation number 2. So, a1 is equal to 1, a2 is equal to 3, b1 is 1, b2 is 2 and c1 is equal to minus 5, c2 is equal to minus 8. So, a1 by a2 is nothing but 1 by 3, b1 by b2 is equal to 1 by 2, c1 by c2 is minus 5 by minus 8 which is nothing but it can be written as 5 by 8. So, we can say that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 which is not equal to c1 by c2. So, from the second condition, we can say that if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, we can say that given pair of linear equations have unit solution. So, from this condition, we can say the given pair of linear equations have unique solution. Also, if 
there is unique solution we need to find the solution for the given pair of linear equations by cross multiplication method so in order to solve the given set of linear equations by cross multiplication method first we need to draw the diagram which is as shown here so first write x y and 1 so here we have to write the coefficient of y which is 1 and the coefficient of y here is 2 now we write the constant terms which are minus 5 and minus 8 next we write the coefficient of x which is 2 and 3 again we write the coefficient of y which is 1 and 2 now by cross multiplication we can write x divided by 1 multiplied by minus 8 1 multiplied by minus 8 minus 2 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to y divided by minus 5 multiplied by 3 minus 2 multiplied by minus 8 is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 minus 3 multiplied by 1 so this gives x by 1 multiplied by minus 8 is minus 8 minus of minus is plus and 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 this is equal to y by minus 5 times of 3 is minus 15 minus of minus is plus and 2 times of 8 is 16 this is equal to 1 divided by 2 times of 2 is 4 minus 3 times of 1 is minus 3 so we will be getting x divided by minus 8 plus 10 is 2 is equal to y by 1 is equal to 1 by 1 now we can write x by 2 is equal to 1 and y is y by 1 is nothing but y is equal to 1 so we can write x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 therefore the solutions for the given set of linear equations are x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 coming to the third bit which is 3x minus 5y is equal to 20 and 6x minus 10y is equal to 40 so the given equations can be written as 3x minus 5y minus 20 is equal to 0 this be equation number 1 and 6x minus 10y minus 40 is equal to 0 let this be equation number 2 so we can write a1 is equal to 3 b1 is equal to minus 5 c1 is equal to minus 20 and a2 is equal to 6 b2 is equal to minus 10 c2 is equal to minus 40 so let us first find a1 by a2 that is equal to 3 divided by 6 which is 1 by 2 next b1 divided by b2 which is minus 5 divided by minus 10 which is 1 by 2 and the next one is c1 by c2 nothing but minus 20 divided by minus 40 which is 1 by 2 so we can observe that a1 by a2 is 1 by 2 which is equal to b1 by b2 which is also 1 by 2 which is equal to c1 by c2 which is also 1 by 2 so the from the first condition if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 the given set of linear equations have infinite solutions so from the conditions we can say that the given set of linear equations have infinite solutions now coming to the fourth bit which is x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 let this be equation number 1 and 3x minus 3y minus 15 is equal to 0 
let this be equation number 2. So a1 is equal to 1, b1 is equal to minus 3, c1 is equal to minus 7 and a2 is 3, b2 is minus 3 and c2 is equal to minus 15. So let us find a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. Now a1 by a2 is equal to 1 divided by 3 b1 by b2 is equal to minus 3 divided by minus 3 which is nothing but 1 and c1 by c2 is equal to minus 7 by 15, minus 15 that is 7 by 15. So we can observe a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So the, from the second condition we can say that the given set of linear equations have unique solution. It is because a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So these pa pair of linear equations have unique solution. Since the given set of linear equations have unique solution, we must find the solutions namely the x and y. So it is by cross multiplication method. For cross multiplication method, we need to draw a following diagram which is as x y 1. Here we need to write the coefficient of y which is minus 3 and here is also the coefficient minus 3. Next the coefficient the constant term which is minus 7 and here the constant is minus 15. Next the coefficient of x which is 1 and 3 and again the coefficient of y minus 3 here is also minus 3. Now we can write x divided by on cross multiplication we get minus 3 multiplied by minus 15 minus minus 3 multiplied by minus 7 is equal to y divided by minus 7 multiplied by 3 minus minus 15 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 multiplied by minus 3 minus 3 multiplied by minus 3. So on further simplification we get x divided by minus 3 multiplied by minus 15 is 45 and minus of minus is plus and minus of plus is minus. So 3 sevens 21 is equal to y divided by minus 21 plus 15 is equal to 1 divided by minus 3 plus 9. That gives x divided by 24 is equal to y divided by minus 6 is equal to 1 divided by 6. Therefore, we can write x is equal to 24 divided by 6 which is nothing but 4 and y is equal to minus 6 divided by 6 which is nothing but minus 1. Therefore, we can say that x is equal to 4 and y is equal to minus 1 are the required solutions of the given set of linear equations.